the world's most elite Paralympic athletes compete at Nathan Benderson Park. SNN's Jessica Lang has more on the two-day event. U.S. Army veteran Howie Sanborn was paralyzed from the waist down in 2012. He wanted to find a way to continue representing his country. I started just training as hard as I could so I could keep competing at this level and wearing the red, white, and blue. Sanborn competes in elite triathlons all over the world, gaining bronze, silver, and gold medals. Living at the Colorado Springs Olympic Training Center, he trains daily. So I know that for me, like I had the race that I that I trained for, and that's that's what I'm looking for. Hundreds of Paralympic athletes from more than 40 countries are represented in the Sarasota Bradenton Triathlon Festival. So it's an international field. These are the best athletes from around the world, and we'll see many of them in the Olympic Games in two years. During the race, Sanborn had one thing on his mind. From start to finish, I'm thinking about trying to win. The triathlon became a duathlon due to high levels of algae. This was Paralympian Kendall Gretsch's first duathlon. I think I always kind of like the, the challenge of it and kind of trying to master each of the three different sports. Gretsch says preparing for an elite triathlon is a full-time commitment. It's a lot of hard work and it's a lot of training. Um, so the number one thing is you want to be doing it for yourself and make sure it's something you really truly love and it's your passion because you're going to put a lot of time into it. Both athletes hoping to compete in the Olympics in 2020. Reporting in Sarasota, Jessica Lang, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.